Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bobby Bo Show. Oh my goodness, welcome back. Who's excited for the chess today? Live on twitch.tv and youtube.com. We got some chess games coming up for you live. Welcome back, Squire, Lil Cub, Daniel, Oscar, Nick, Bantha, Drake. You think the brilliant move is going to be with the dark square bishop? George is calling it now. Make your guesses, folks. What do you think? What piece do you think is going to be the brilliant move? The first brilliant move. Because there's going to be many brilliant moves today. Oh my gosh, a subscription on Twitch? No way. E2, Reggie, just subscribe with Twitch. Pro or no, he actually subscribed. Tier 1, Twitch subscription. A bona fide. He's bona fide. That's a bona fide Twitch subscription. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome to the front row of the Bobby Bow Show. E2 Reggie. Or Reg. R E I J. I don't know. I said it. I, I definitely said it wrong. Reg. We'll figure that out though. Since you're in the front row. Welcome though, guys. So I think we're going to do a sub Sunday. On Sunday where we play with subs so maybe we'll get you in there welcome back to the Bobby Bo show everybody so yeah make sure you're in the discord link is in the description if you're in discord and your twitch account is linked with your discord account super easy to do then you will automatically get the sub role in my discord and you'll have access to the sub only chat and we'll be picking subs from there from the sub only chat on sunday that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do uh, some sub sundays so we can play with subs a lot of people subbing that um want to give some love to you guys and get some chances to play with you guys but um and then everyone else will still get chances to play with me soon but right now i'm just kind of frustrated with my rating so i'm trying to deal with that before i play against all of you um because if i start playing against all of you and you are all average rating about a thousand rating i will get worse you know how they say playing against good better players makes you better well the opposite is also true if you play against worse players it makes you worse some of you are better than me though what i want to do though is play against you guys by ratings so we also have roles in the discord for chess players if you link your chess.com account you can have a beginner role 
if you're under 1200 rating and then after that it goes novice amateur intermediate advanced expert master something like that um so you can get all those roles based on your rating and i'll be playing against people based on their roles in the discord eventually so you do want to be in the discord but it's not happening right now so but it's a good thing to to do anytime if you also want to just go in there and hang out and talk to me sometimes anytime there's activities um community events or whatever they'll be done through the discord so sub sunday though on sunday i'll play against subs make sure you're subscribed on twitch and in the discord if you want to do that but we'll do that on sunday what's up bolt seen some of your youtube stuff thank you so much welcome to the twitch channel glad you can make it to the twitch chat a lot of people don't know about the twitch because they're on youtube a lot of people on youtube but sometimes i'm live on twitch but not youtube Sometimes you don't want to miss the content, guys. Make sure you're following on Twitch if you're on there. Link in the description. You're new to chess and you like the content? I'm glad to hear that. Hope my videos help you learn. Hope you improve a little bit. What are some of your favorite channels for learning, folks? Some good channels for learning chess for beginners. Help them out. Joining the Discord today? Nice. I think I'll stop by the Discord chat after the stream. Just to hang out and talk to you guys for a few minutes. When the stream's over. So if you guys go join the Discord, maybe I'll answer some questions or something in the Discord later. After the after the stream, I'll hop in the chat. Levy for beginners. That's Gotham Chess. Gotham Chess for beginners. And Daniel Naraditsky for intermediate plus. Yeah. Daniel Naraditsky for Intermediate Plus. I wish Daniel Naraditsky made a lot more content for like beginners. But I don't know, maybe beginners can learn from his content. But yeah, he does do a lot of intermediate stuff, which is perfect for me. But I want to see him blow up. I want to see Daniel Naraditsky opening trap series. Hey, welcome back to the Daniel Naraditsky channel, guys. And today we're going to go over the Angling Gambit. That'd be, that'd be tight. The Wayward Queen. That's a good one. You see my Wayward Queen attack video. There's a lot of good videos on that one. Oh yeah, I watched him in, Mo Mo him in Moist Critical. That's how... I that's when I was also a beginner. Yeah, I think I think he did a lot more beginner content back then too. Favorite opening? Personal favorite. Well, I'm going to give you like a few. Cuz there's the King's Gambit, the Queen's Gambit, and the Angling Gambit. I probably put the Angling Gambit as my favorite. It's not a good one, but unless you're low rated, which most of you are. If you're under 1500 rated, I'd say the Anglin Gambit is God tier. Do you think I'm going to climb this stream? Who thinks I'm going to gain rating or lose rating? You think I'm going to gain rating type yes? And if you think I'm going to lose rating type no? You think I'm going to gain rating today? Yeet me to subscribe with Twitch Prime. Oh my goodness, yeet me with the Twitch Prime, the huge Twitch Prime. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the front row of the Bobby Bo Show. Yeet me. Maybe we'll see you on Sunday for the sub games. Make sure you're in the Discord. Um, but we'll be we'll have more on that. I'll, I guess I'll make an, a Discord announcement on I don't know coming up maybe on Saturday a day before, and then I'll go live on Sunday. <clears throat> we gaining today? Yes, everyone says yes. You guys are so confident in me. Mr. Beast says lose for sure. Wow. Mr. Beast is such a hater. Is chess fun? No, it's actually terrible, but you can't get away from it. It's fun when you start, though. So. 
After that, it just becomes part of your life. Yeah, I think I'll gain today. I, I feel it. How to join the Discord channel. Yeah, so um, joining the Discord is free. You just have to click on the link. Or um, go, to, go, yeah, and then as long as you have a Discord account. And then once you're in there, um, there is a, you get automatically get a role as a subscriber in the Discord channel. If you have a Twitch subscription. But you need to have your Discord account linked to your Twitch account, which is in your user settings, I think. So, I'll, I'll um, go over that. I'll, I'll put that in the announcement, which I'll post in the Discord on Saturday. But um, there's like a chess roll. You guys can go in there and get the chess roll and get notified for all the chess notifications. Um, yeah. Yeah, chess is holding us hostage. Magnus Carlsen just got away, though. Good to see one of us get out. A Legal's made on someone. Um, I think it's happened to me. I don't know if I've done it to someone. Maybe I have. But it's happened to me before. That's how I learned what it was. I was like, oh, free queen. <laughs> you guys want to know the Legal's mate? Who here doesn't know what that is? Because we're, we're going to save you. We'll save you. A quick one. Save you a game here. Legal's mate. Let's see if I remember it, guys, because I probably don't. But I know it starts out with the Italian game. E4, E5. And then you play knight to F3. And then after knight to C6, you play bishop to F4, the Italian game. And now they might continue with something like D6. And you play D3. And now they bring their bishop out to G4 to pin your knight to the king to the queen and i do believe we need to have our knight here so at some point we needed to do this did i well maybe we don't do that maybe we do this first okay yeah we do this and then i don't know why we did d3 what, what, what was d3 all about i don't know guys but we're pinning the knight to the queen and now we can't just do this right away we might be able to but i'll show you I think we have to go we have to do this because the bishop needs to be right here wait no 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 wait wait yes guys am i doing this right and now you take you can take this pawn yes 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 now you take the pawn and they're like oh my gosh she's so bad free queen But it's main too. Am I doing this right? I made a whole video on this, so I do actually know it, guys. I'm just joking. Um, and then d5, knight to d5 is checkmate here. Wow, Legal's mate. Legal's checkmate. And we'll, we'll see why. We, why do we have to play this move? We'll go over it. What do we do? Knight captures e5 before h3. Okay, so what happens if we just do this? Knight captures e5. And if they take our queen, it's checkmate in two still. Oh my gosh, why not just do that? Uh, because they don't have to take the queen here. They could just play knight captures e5. Instead of taking your queen. But I mean, if they're going to fall for this trap, they're probably going to take the queen anyway. If you're If you're doing it at a certain rating... I mean, if you're at the rating where you're trying to pull this off, then they're just going to take the queen here any, every time. But now the bishop is defended. Right? And your bishop's under attack here. Whereas here, you can take the bishop here. Right? And then after knight capture c4, you have checkers. Not checkers, but, um, you know... Hey, what's up, Malachi?
Yeah, so that's the, that's the Legals. Mate, I have fallen for that one before. I took the queen, guys. I took the queen, got checkmated in two moves. What's your favorite uh, trap opening, guys? If you gotta be tricky, which one are you going for? The Wayward Queen? Legals, mate? Anglin Gambit? The scotch opening. No, I don't know it. It's like one of those E4 openings. I never play this. Anytime I ever played E4, it was the King's Gambit. Blackburn Shilling. That's another one I did a video on, and it got millions of views. So, let's see if I remember that. It starts with E4, E5, Knight F3. Attacking your pawn, so you play knight to c6, defending the pawn, and then they play bishop to c4, the Italian game. And now you play bishop. No, the queen's coming out here, right? Hold up. Knight to d4. Oh yeah, knight to d4. And here they could take your knight and you're just tr trading. Or they could take or they could take this pawn, free pawn here, right? And now they're attacking f7 twice and they think they're about to fork you. But you play queen to f6 at g5. Hitting attacking the knight and the g2 pawn. And if they continue here with their plan, now they're for they're still forking your queen and rook, right? And the bishop is defending the knight. But now you play queen to captures g2. And the rook comes over. The rook's under attack, right? So rook over here. Bring the rook over, and now your rook is still under attack, right? But now queen captures e4 check. And if the bishop goes back to block it, you have knight to f3 checkmate. Bishop can't take because it's pinned to the king. Other option is queen here and then you just take it with the knight and you win a queen. Traxler. I've played the Traxler one time, but I don't remember it. Can't do it. I should maybe make a video on it, maybe an opening video about it. What do we have also though? I just did another one that was like... It was like a, it was like the same thing. It was like this though, right? No. No, no, you don't do that. Wait, no, you do. No, what's it? What is it? I don't know. I forget it. But there's like another way you can do the BS gambit, but it's like a different start. Check out my latest short. I think it's my latest one. Forgot it. I have it written down right here in front of me, though. Let's see. Oh, yes. Here we go, folks. It starts with e4, e5, knight to f3. Knight to c6 and bishop to c4 makes the Italian game. Play knight to f6, and when white plays knight to g5 to double attack your f7 pawn, thrust forward with d5. And after e captures d5, play the tricky knight to d4 ah this is where it starts to look like the bs gambit right guys they think they'll continue their f7 attack with d6 but after queen captures d6 knight captures f7 forking our queen and rook 
play queen to c6. And after... And if the knight captures the rook, you play queen captures g2. And after rook to f1... Well, I'll just give you guys a couple seconds here. Yep. Boom, same thing, checkmate. I said Malachi wrong, is it Malachi? Malachi. Malachi. That's a good one, right? Avad Picard with the $2 super chat. Thank you so much. It says Stafford Gambit with black. All right, Stafford Gambit. Let's see. It's been a while for me, but I'm a, an active Eric Rosen watcher, so we can probably do this here. I think for the $2 super chat. Let's try the Stafford Gambit here. It starts with E4, E5, and then... They play knight to f3, attacking your e5 pawn. But you now play knight to f, knight to f6. Now you're attacking their pawn and they're attacking your pawn. Right, this is the Stafford Gambit, folks. They take here and you play, this is where the Stafford Gambit begins, knight to c6. And now they take here, doubling your pawns, and their pawns under attack here, so it's their move. What do they play? Well, let's just bring the knight out and develop, right? Why not? And you're just going to play bishop to c5. Continuing your development, you're about to castle, right? And they're just going to go on with bishop. So yeah, bishop to c4. This is like, this is where they go. This is the trappy very, this is like bad moves for white. Bishop to c4. It's kind of like a first mistake here a bit. Um, good players won't play like this, but this is how you're going to trap them. And now you're going to play knight to g4. Double attacking the f7 square, right? But they can just castle, right? They can just, they're just going to castle, right? The rook defends now. Okay. But now, look, we're crushing it. Minus three. What's the move? Queen to h4. Threatening checkmate. And we just added a third attacker to this square. Right? They have to deal with the checkmate, though. This is mate and one. What's the... How do you stop it? Only way to stop it. h3. But now you have knight captures. f2. Hitting the queen. Yep, just like that. Hitting the queen. And notice how the bishop is currently lined up with the kings here. So when the king, when the knight moves, the king will be in check. So queen's under attack here. Queen has to move, right? And usually queen, uh, I mean, they could do this. They could go this way and you're just, what, up plus two? You just won a rook. You gambited a pawn at the beginning, right? You won a pawn back and a rook, so... Even pawns, rook for a knight, and you're just like winning. But a lot of times they don't want to do that. They'll just try to keep saving it, try to salvage the game here, but it's now mate. Checkmate, guys. Checkmate. After knight captures h3, and now the king is under attack twice by two pieces. You can't block both of them. You can't just like take here. You can't just like move the pawn forward. So the king has to move. Um, and king h1 is mate in two, but it's probably the most common one. I feel like this is the most common move. Um, but yeah, mate in two. How do you mate in two now? Well, you just go back to knight to f2. And the king is in double attack again. Double check. Double check, knight attacks the king and the queen attacks the king. Queen can't just like block here or take or anything. So king has to go here, only move, and then this is checkmate. The knight defends. Knight's defended by the bishop. Queen's defended by the knight. Checkmate. Um, and it's even checkmate if they 
go here because you still do knight to here and then now they can go here but yeah so same thing this is apparently the best move now and then and then this <laughs> so it's over That's the Stafford Gambit. That's like, I don't know, there's a lot more to it. You gotta watch Eric Rosen videos. This is like all, the only portion of it that I know. And that's basically the worst way for white to play. Can you do a game versus subscribers? I'll be doing a games versus Twitch subscribers on Sunday. Sub Sunday, guys. The first ever sub Sunday on the Bobby Bo Show. So, all the new Twitch subs might have a chance on Sunday if you're there. You're going to be playing games. Probably 5-5. Five, 5-minute, five, five 5 second increments. You want to start the... Uh, yeah, we're going to start playing chess in a minute though, guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Response, what do I do for black against E4? I play the Carol Khan. C6, or what is it? Yeah, C6. Oops. All right, let's start up though. Maybe we'll see it right here. Posting Tarkov videos. I posted a little clip, a Tarkov clip. If you like the Tarkov clips, maybe I'll post a full video, but no plans. I don't know. I'm, I just started doing Tarkov um, Shooter Born in Heaven. So I was thinking maybe if I record all my Shooter Born in Heaven kills, I'll make a little video. Perhaps. But I don't know. I'm getting pretty into this wipe to be honest. I didn't think I would get that into it. Most wipes I just play until I unlock the flea market and then kind of quit. I do some quests and then just kind of get bored. But I've been going pretty hard this wipe. Not I'm not like no lifing it really, but I'm only level 23. I think I'm almost level 24. I just got my level 3 traders, Peacekeeper and Jaeger. So I just um, got a bit of a power spike. Got some good ammo now. I can shred level 4 armor. So, um, and I'm just chatting it up. I'm putting on kits. Not like the craziest kits, just good kits for my level. Just like an ump. I'm running a silenced ump with level 4 armor in a big backpack. Um, just, just started putting AP ammo in it so I can finally shred those level 4s. Um, but I've been doing a lot of, I don't know, shotguns and SMGs this wipe. Just because, mostly because of quests. I've had a lot of quests for using shotguns and SMGs. Um, like I had to kill 55 scavs with the double barrel. That was kind of annoying, but shotguns are pretty good if you use them correctly and you're not using the double barrel, but, um, might use more of them. You think the wipe's kind of bad? I don't know. People that probably play a lot of Tarkov and go on Reddit probably hate the wipe, but, um, it's been a, f been a f few wipes since I've played and I'm just having fun, so... I don't know, just like, um, I learned how to, um, like, loot a lot better, so I'm going on customs or whatever and getting, like, 500, 400, 500,000 rubles, just opening up safes and caches, and then I just got a lot better at PvP, and I don't feel, like, scared anymore, I'm not, like, hiding when I hear noise, I'm running towards it and taking the fights and 
I'm the one that you gotta be scared of. I'm putting on a flashlight and just blinding everybody. Twitch.tv slash Bobby Butch Angles. Link in the description, guys. If you want to check out the Twitch, same name as YouTube. Yeah, I'm the Chad now. That's why I'm having fun this wipe. Because I'm just kind of going hard. Um, yeah, I've been getting wrecked by Flechette in shotguns. It's crazy. I just unlocked it too, so I'm going to start doing that to people. But I've noticed I die a lot to higher level players that just have really good ammo. I'm surprised how many people I run into that are higher level than me. Yesterday I was in dorms with a fully kitted like omp with a nice I had a I had a nice set of gear with a with an omp and that I just put in armor piercing ammo so I could finally shred those level four armors. Ran into dorms and got into a fight with a with a guy it lasted a couple minutes and ended up getting killing him. He was level 48. Calvin died with the Twitch Prime on Twitch. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome to the front row of the Bobby Bow Show. Yeah, I just we just like got in the dorms. I just but I jumped out of one of the rooms and sprayed him in the head with an ump. And he had M61 ammo running at me with M61 and some sort of like trader level four gun. And then I killed I think two or three more people and then got headshot by some guy with a flechette who missed like he missed all of his shots I heard him start reloading I peeked around the corner hit him twice in like hit him in both arms with my ump and then got headshot by flechette he like put one shell in or put one shell into the shotgun and then headshot me what's up printer rex Print, printer rex with the twitch prime oh my goodness Welcome, welcome to the Bobby Bow Show. Welcome to the front row of the Bobby Bow Show. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Hope to see you on Sunday for the sub Sunday, perhaps. Flechette is crazy. Yeah, it's kind of like unreal, right? That's the that I don't know. I looked at it on the tar, on the ammo charts, and it's just like going through everything, doing tons of damage. Maybe maybe you just have to be close range for it to be good still, but. Kind of nuts in the dorms. I'm trying to... I need to kill PMCs with like SMGs or something. Actually, I think I can do it with shotguns too. But I'm going to be running either an SMG. Like an ump with a AP. Rounds or a shotgun with flechette. For, for the time being probably. Uh, but it's kind of li limited because a lot of the good ammo is just restricted in traders like you can only buy 100 rounds every three hours and that's like one raid for me you know i can only do one raid with an ump and then i'm out of ammo out of good ammo and i have to switch to like a shotgun i guess it's forces you to play different kits but gone are the days where i could just buy all of the ammo all of the good ammo what's up alex it's kind of nice though if you think about it the way they're making it harder to access top tier ammo and stuff and gear but yeah flechette i've been getting wrecked every time i it feels like half the times i die at least it's from flechette just but it's nice though that I can level up and when I'm when I'm at level three um, traders we're talking about escape from Tarkov it's nice how I can have that advantage though where I have leveled up f higher than everybody else so I have like better ammo and better gear but I still I'm not completely no lifing Tarkov so I still get wrecked by level 40 plus players that have like M61 Yeah, Escape from Tarkov's good, guys. If you want to check it out, I just uploaded a clip um, just before I went live. So go to my channel, look at the clip. Maybe you see if you want to see if Tarkov's the game for you. It's kind of a hardcore shooter. 
hardcore first-person shooter. I uh, started playing Tarkov a couple years ago, I think. I don't know. Uh, probably when it f the first time it blew up on Twitch, really. I think I was watching Pastilli for like drops. I think it was 2020, probably January 2020, I believe. Seems about right. No. 2019? Maybe it was before that. Because I feel like 2020... I started playing before 2020, I feel like. Maybe then, no, maybe not. How many rubles do you have? Uh, I think I've got 5 mil in my stash, and my stash worth is like 16 mil. We'll start playing chess in a second, guys. Hit that like button if you guys want to start playing chess. Let me know. Yeah, how many rubles do you guys have? What level are you guys in Tarkov? How many of you play Tarkov? Let me know if you if you do play Tarkov. I think a lot of us do. Yeah, I only play solo. I tried to get some friends into it. But like for example, I have one friend that is crazy at shooter games. Very good. I figured he'd be great at Tarkov because he's just he's very good at aiming and stuff. But um, he's like too, he has like too fast of reaction time because we would be walking next to each other and then, I don't know, like just like some sort of noise would spook him and then he'd just like flick around and headshot me because he's just so fast. And before he could even think about like, who is this? Like who, who made that noise or whatever or whatever and just shoot me in the face and I, it was just his reaction time is faster than his brain can think about what he's doing. And he killed me so many times. One time we're ratting it up in a bush, just waiting for PMCs to run by. And then... Out of nowhere, he just like gets spooked. Um, and just like shoots me, you know? <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, but I've, yeah, I don't know. I like playing with, I don't know, I like playing with, trying to play with people sometimes, but... Um, the thing is, I always feel like if you're good, Tarkov is like, I don't know, it's, it's more rewarding as a solo, I feel like. There's so many times where I'm running around as a solo and I'll just start hearing like f f three, two or three players just stomping around. And they're just completely oblivious to the fact that I'm like running right near them because they don't have, I don't know, like when you're running around in a group, you have, there's no like being quiet. There's no sneaking around as a group. You're just kind of barreling through the map using your numbers as an, as an advantage. And if you run into somebody, you're just trying to overwhelm them, right? But as a solo, you can, I don't know, like pick someone off, reposition. It's, it's really fun. I, don't know, I just got a 1v3 with a Mosin. Watch that on my YouTube channel, guys. Check out that clip. 1v3 with a Mosin. Should I pull it up here? I can probably pull it up. You guys want to see the clip? I should make you watch it on my channel, but... Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let me put it on screen for you. Give me a second. We'll play the first chess game after this, though. Do 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 one window.
Oh, here we go. Yeah, who plays Tarkov though? I forgot, I didn't look. Let me know. Who's the Tarkov players in the chat? Why does this not work? Hold on. I can't get it to show up, guys. What's going on? Alright, let's just do this. All right, here's the clip that we waited for. Okay, well, rewind. So I spawned on Shoreline, and I'm just kind of looking for people that are running up to the radio tower, whatever it's called. And then I hear running behind me. Got the loot. Yeah, they all had kitted guns. They were they were loaded up with um I don't know, looks like they like bought some guns off the flea market and they built uh built some I uh, sold their guns for about 150k each, so they probably paid they probably paid more than that for the guns, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah, Escape from Tarkov is a fun game. It's very hard though, very hard game. Hardest game I've ever played. Um, but it's it's like fun. It's fun to get destroyed in that game even though it's Yeah, it's just intense. The most intense game I've ever played. Someone said, though, that it looked like I was fighting stormtroopers. Alright, that wasn't supposed to be that loud. All right, folks, is it time for the chess? We talked, we showed some clips. I've got more Tarkov clips, but I don't think I'll make you sit through that right now. Maybe we'll do a Tarkov video sometime. I do have a little video I'm going to make about um, one of these streams. I talked about Tarkov for a little bit. I'm going to upload that so you guys can hear me talk about my favorite maps and stuff. Yeah, Tarkov is the hardest game. I like, yeah, I like the tactical nature of it. You're forced to be tactical. You have to, good aim is important, but you also have to have good strategy and good, like, you have to make good moves, you know, just like chess. Chess, chess aiming is important in chess. You don't, you don't want to drop your pieces on the wrong square. You don't want to misclick, but you do have to make good moves. So Tarkov and chess are pretty similar. The only thing, the only difference is in, in chess, um, when you get checkmated, you don't lose all your pieces. Imagine every piece you caught, you like could put in your stash. <laughs> you just have a bunch of queens in your stash. 
What's up to Kala? Welcome to the Bobby Bo Show. What's up H2SO4 from Fortnite? Sounds like Shogi. Yeah. Yeah, there's something like that in chess, right? That's crazy how they made a chess variant based on Tarkov. But the my thoughts on Tarkov as like a a game, I don't know. You guys remember when PUBG came out? And and there was like PUBG and H1Z1. And those were kind of the first battle royales other than Minecraft Hunger Games. I'm gonna make the music a little louder. The only thing is, like, it depends on the song. Sometimes the songs get louder, but I'll make it me the music a little louder. Um. What was I saying? Oops. Oh yeah, H1Z1 and PUBG. Those were like the first battle royales, right? Some of them, one of the first. And they were kind of like shitty games as far as um, a lot of bugs and they were kind of... They weren't like professionally made. They weren't AAA games, right? At the time. They were kind of just... Um, but they were good games and made a lot of people want to play them. But then we got games like Warzone and Fortnite. And then and those are just like way bigger in popularity. Those are just, you know, Fortnite took over the world. I think that Tarkov is like one of those first battle royale games. One of the first of the genre, kind of like the PUBG of extraction shooters, PvPVE extraction shooters. I think um, in five to ten years or something, we'll see a triple triple A version of the game. There'll probably be one. There'll probably be two main games. There's always two main games, right, for any genre. There's one that's super hardcore that's um just like a lot of depth very hard to play but very rewarding right and that's kind of what tarkov is right now but then there's going to be another one that's more on the arcade side that's like easier to play easier to pick up and learn and more accessible to the masses maybe faster paced maybe like shorter games or something and that'll have more popularity, but people will be like, oh, it's like a kid's game. And that's like what the Fortnite is, you know? So I think we're going to have the Fortnite version of Tarkov some point, like not actually Fortnite, but like um, there's going to be a, m a more fast paced arcade version. Um, like there won't be weight restrictions or or inertia and I don't know I think I'll like both of them I'm not saying that I'm against either one of those but I think it's just gonna happen that's what I'm saying I think it's inevitable but there is there are like some other games that are like Tarkov right I'm not familiar with them but I know there's there's another there's a game that Another extraction shooter. I forget what it's called though. I know a I have a friend that plays it, but I know Doctor Disrespect is making an extraction shooter, and I have early access to it. And we're gonna see the first of it in a week from now, so that's exciting. That could be one of those triple A Tarkov competitors, I think. Is it called Zero Hour? Hmm. 
I don't know. I forget what it's called. What's up, Nerbolt? Welcome to the Bobby Bo Show. What's up, Ghost C Fam? Wanna one v one? Rainbow Six Siege. Never played it, but that would be that would be a fun one. I felt like I would always like that. It's it is more tactical, isn't it? I think it's just never. I played more popular games like Call of Duty and Halo, but I felt like I would. I always I saw some gameplay and I felt like it would be fun, but never had a reason to play it. Fall Guys. This Fall Guy is a hardcore extraction shooter, guys. Kind of is. You do have to extract. Cross the map and extract. Anna, you hit 1200. Congratulations. Fancy a game. Sometime soon, perhaps, we'll be playing against viewers. Um. 1200 want to play against 1200s again soon yeah 1200 is the range i want to play against sometime soon guys but not today but we'll do we'll be doing sub sunday on sunday if you guys want to get a better chance of playing be here on sunday with the twitch sub but let's get started here guys hit that like button to get started you don't play against lower than 1200. I play against any ratings, but I played against uh, a lot of 1200 and belows. I want to give the 1200 to 1400s a chance sometime too. I want to I want to do it all, guys. But 1200 is a good rating for me to play against because it's kind of a good game still, but I'm definitely going to win it at the same time. So it makes good videos. Whereas someone like a 400 player would just give me all their pieces. And it wouldn't be very interesting. I don't know. Less interesting sometimes. Sometimes it is interesting though. Not saying. Just more likely. And if it but if they're higher than 1200 rating, then they could beat me. And I don't want to I don't want that to happen. I don't yeah, I just want to stomp noobs. Well, not like but I don't want them to be too newbie. 1200 is like the perfect level of noobs. Higher than that though, and I might lose. I don't want to lose to you guys. Ugh. That'd be embarrassing. But, um, speaking of embarrassing, let's play the first game of chess. Give it a, give it a shot here. See how it goes. We're gonna play right now. The Anglin Gambit for the first game, no way! It starts with d4, e5, and then they accept the gambit by capturing the pawn. And you play knight to c6, attacking the pawn, they defend it with knight to f3, and then they play bishop to f4, defending the pawn again. Well, here we are, guys. On move four of the Anglin Gambit, and they're thinking about it. They probably have to go check my video. Go watch uh, my Anglin Gambit tutorial on YouTube while you think about what to play here. Okay. What would you play here? If oh! That's an option. Kind of a weird one. But it's like, it's not a common one, but it's doable. And I don't think I should be... ...doing this, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Enemy from Poland? Who else is from Poland? I know a lot of you are from Poland.
Could this be a mistake? No, not a chance. Anyone think it's a bad move? Playing the Angling Gambit is always a bad move, so... Oh my gosh! That's why. I don't know. I feel like it could be worse. Could be that could be a part of the gambit. We're getting positional, slightly. It's getting very interesting. If this was a Blitz game, they'd have to use so much time. But we're playing Rapid with increments, so it's like, this is why it doesn't really work too well, because I can always think about what to do. And I never have the best moves unless they make a mistake. You should stop playing the Angling? Yeah, I should, but I'm not going to. How great of a gambit is Angling for a 1500 and above? Uh, it's pretty trash at my rating. I lose probably... I lose 60% of the time. I think I win 40% of the time. So... But, but before that, I was winning like 70-80% of the time, so... You really gotta... It really falls off hard, but it's very good early. Early or low ratings. Super trashed here at my rating, though. That just makes it so much more satisfying every time it works, though. And they take their time. They do like to take their time also. If I don't outlet, outright lose a lot of material in the beginning of the game, um, sometimes it's a time game at the end. Even though they have increment, it, if there's too many pieces on the board, they can't play fast enough. So... Develop your pieces, sir. We're gonna try, but it's not my move. Rook c8 is what I'm looking at, though, yeah. That's... That's what's on the table here. That's what they're afraid of, too. That's what they're thinking about. They're thinking, oh my gosh, Rook c2, what do I do? Rook c8, what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. But you never know when you play the Angle Gambit. Yeah, D4 other than the Anglin Gambit. I don't know any other openings. So, I could use some recommendations from the chat, maybe. Oh my gosh, is that a good move? Certainly is, couldn't it be? Do I have any trickies? Any tricky, tricky tricks? Tricky tricks? I don't know. 
We're just gonna go with it and see see where it goes. See where the path leads. It's out of my hands, folks. This game's out of my hands. This game... It's in the hands... Of not me. Ah, yes. I don't really know what, like, works here. If anything. How do we trap this bad boy? I don't think we can. There's no way to trap the, this bad boy. Uh, I think I'm just, like, trying this. No. This looks so bad. Yeah, this actually looks terrible if I do this. Doesn't that just look like the worst? I don't even know. What can I do? Take like this. I'm looking at Rug Casualty too, but... This doesn't feel like anything is there. Maybe I need to develop. I don't even know how to be tricky about this. I guess this. This, and then we're developed. D5 would have won the queen. It would have just put my queen under attack, right? Oh my gosh. Is the queen trapped actually though? Holy smokes guys, in the angling gambit the queen is trapped. Holy smokes. No way dude. Oh my gosh, in the angling gambit folks. In the trash opening, the trash tier angling gambit. 
We're not out of the water yet, though. We are down plus three before this queen. Like, plus three material for them. They have three pawns for my nothing, so... But for a queen, it's worth it, you know? I don't see a move for them. I don't see how they could have a move. I mean, they have to like trade queen for bishop, right? Or just take my knight and then lose their queen. They're like losing a piece, right? I mean, I mean they're losing the queen. Maybe getting a piece out of it though, and three pawns. Because of the gambit. I had to sacrifice three pawns. Had to triple gambit, triple pawn gambit just to get the queen trap, guys. All planned out. Um. Yeah, I don't see how that changes anything, guys. We have to think here, and I have to pee. Ah. I don't want to take here, but I'm just trying to think if I if, if that would be like... We have, to, we have to consider it, even though I don't think it's the right. Um, yeah, I could take this pawn, I could just move away. I could, um, thinking of like taking here opens up something, but it doesn't. Um, just had to consider it though. And this bishop is defended by the knight here. And if I go here, let's see, is there any way for the queen to get out? My, my queen's not really like participating in this queen trap, is it? Right? So it's okay if my queen moves and. Can their knight, where does their knight go now? Let's highlight all the knight moves. Okay. We don't want to be like, we don't want to get wrecked by one of those, but. If I take here, what can he do? Like, here. And then I can just go like here. No, then he's going to be blocking off my bishop. I would have to go like... I don't know, maybe I don't want to take this. Yeah, the thing about... People talk about like, is chat, reading chat while playing like cheating or whatever, but people are just listing off like every single move in the game. So it's like... Here. Oh. No, hold on. Boom. Oh, and then my queen is actually defending the bishop now. So that's not a problem. And then here I can do this. Then this is... Then he takes here, right? So let's think, if I take here, he goes boom. And then if I take with the... Why don't I just take with the pawn? Because then, then, then this knight doesn't is still defending here, and the queen's still trapped. 
So that should work. If he goes here, this is still defended by my queen after this, and this is still defended by this. We're good. And now I'm just going like back to where I was, um, or like here. Yeah, just this. What are the options, guys? Where can I, where are the legal moves? This, not this, um, this, this. This, this, this. This. So, no way to attack my queen from here. And the queen is trapped. Be like a better option too somewhere this just has to be a solid option though right i don't think there might be a better night there might be a better place to put my queen but we're winning we're, we're winning a queen right so Yeah, there might have been a more active place, but I don't know. Maybe that's why I should have gone to like here. So I could take back with my queen. I go like here. Guess. I thought about taking here, but I don't see why I would be. Like, maybe it's just good to get pieces off the board, but no. This and then castle, guys.
Honestly, if they did, if they played this, I might just, because then I'm hitting both pawns here. Oh my gosh. Well, I might just do this. Yeah, this is a great move. Than this, maybe at some point, but we're doing great moves right now. Not my turn, but I wish it was my turn. You know what I mean? 1569 for the opponent. I'm 1500 exactly. That's what I was expecting. I take here. Forced to take back with knight, could take here. Then bishop goes like here, or the king moves. And I don't think you want to move your king. I take here. You just have to do it here. It's at least worth the pawns and the and the piece. need to develop I do need to develop so bad but I can get there just this and then castle and we're good guys I thought about knight e7, just because of this rook being here, but it's not a problem, because also the bishop's here, and I'm going to castle, and uh, the rook could come to here and take and attack this if I went to here, so this defends it, and now I can castle with no problems. A2's hanging, oh my gosh, you, you low-rated players trying to go for pawns. They're trying to trap me, guys. Well, 
But what's their plan here? I mean, it looks scary because there's like four pieces next to my queen, but I don't think they actually have anything here. And there's the resignation, guys. If the rook goes back, I just take the bishop, right? Only, well, only minus 1.75 for me, actually. Like, still a pretty close game. But I, I think I would be pulling ahead there. Probably pretty quickly. Without perfect play by the opponent. Let's uh, check out the analysis, though. I don't know. They, it was getting interesting, and they resigned right, right at the interesting part. I guess they just kind of gave up on it because it was a tough losing game, but still, you know, do I have any brilliant moves? No. Kind of felt like I did, but interesting. Yeah, the analysis here isn't going to be uh, very, ah, it's not going to be very generous, but it is what it is. You just kind of have to accept it. But this is the it's, the graph here looks exactly like an angling gambit typically does. White starts out by crushing you, and then you just bring it right back as soon as they mess up. But here, let's check out how it happened. It started with d4, e5, the angling gambit. They accepted the gambit by capturing the pawn, and then you play knight to c6, attacking the pawn. Knight to f3 defends the pawn, and then you play queen to e7. And this adds another attacker to the pawn, but more importantly, it puts the queen on this diagonal ready to hit the king with a check. Boom, check, right? So what do they do usually? This is the best moves. I'll show you the best moves that they could have done. Boom. This is best for white. Best moves for white. Completely winning for white. Here. Checking the king. Attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back. We take the pawn. Still winning for white. If they did this, it would be losing to this. But they do this, and then you and then you do this. Wait, no. They do, um, what is it? This, 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 this. And then they're completely crushing you with this move. Hitting your, hitting you with the forking. Um... And, I mean, like, you're not completely out of the water yet, but, like, you can do something like, uh, the boom, 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 and then, boom, I don't know, but you're losing. You're going to lose this game uh, if they know the right moves, but they didn't know the right moves. Uh, this is a book move, though. I mean, this is a book move. This is, an, this is one I don't see very often. I think it's actually a top engine recommendation at, at this point. No. Maybe, on a, maybe I got to up the depth a little bit. I get, I always a little sus when people play this one, but I don't think they were a cheater. Um, I just get nervous because it's a good one for them, I think. Even though it's like not the most winning. I don't know. No, it's not even the... Because at this point, they're like, okay, what do I do here? No, this is just like a solid one. It's not a cheater variation. What am I saying? But here we go, guys. I guess we're just gambling pawns. It's called the Stockholm variation. And actual best move here, king d1, but knight a3 is like also the same, similar, apparently. But that's interesting how just moving the king over is what you want to do. And here, I guess this, this is leading to trapping maybe. Maybe the most trappy. But I don't see the queen. She just comes over here at some point. I don't know. They really have to make three, mo three bad moves in a row to hit this queen trap. Um, but here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, look at it. It just says go for it. It says go for it, king. You got it. Look at this. Look how winning this is. Oh my gosh. And then you take it. You're taking next. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't think about this. What What a think. What a think that is. And then if they just go here, then uh, queen f6 check. Queen h6 check. Uh, king d1. Knight captures c1. Because your king's un your queen's under attack. And then probably this and then this, right? Or something like that. Or this. Oh, we're still going. I'd be so I'd be so annoyed if this was if they kept chasing my queen around here. But what about just like? about just like this no we have to defend this bishop so we're going c6 
And then what? What's going? Where is this going here? Queen of G8. No, Queen of what? G6. Oh, we're going back. No, we're, we're going over here now. Oh uh, yeah, you can't get me now. Now you can't get me. Why couldn't I go here before? I don't know. Oh. Oh, because I was thinking about this. Wait, blunder. What? Oh. Hitting me with the check? And then I'm still like plus two or minus two for me. I'm getting a little bit carried away here with the analysis, guys. Oh my gosh, says, hey, you should be taking this. Hey, hey, guy, just take this and then hit him with the boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay. And what did I do? I ended up sacrificing that rook anyway. Or a similar. And we did make solid. Someone wanted, someone was talking about taking this. Probably inaccurate. Yeah, inaccurate. Way safer just to be castling at this point. Nice. Good game. Good game. Let's do another one. GG. Let's play the Karakhan this time. It starts out with E4. Then you play C6 here. Preparing to thrust forward into the center with a supported pawn. And we just thrust. And what do we do now? We're just going to pin the knight, guys. The king, queen. We're also going to play this. We maybe should have just played C5 right there, but... I don't know what the order is here. Now we'll play it. Ah, yes. And we will take the pawn. They'll capture back. We're going right into my favorite variation. It's just like pretty solid for me. You like the clips, Rub? Thanks. Viewer games on Sunday, sub Sunday, guys. Okay, I can take here because it's no longer defended by the queen and this knight can't take because of the pin. So that's a mistake. Immediate mistake. In the Karakhan, folks. Or am I falling into a classic blunder? No, I'm not. Because there's like sometimes I things where they do this and then... No, I don't know what I'm thinking, but they didn't they don't have it. Rook c8? Threatening this? They have to react to that first, right? Danger levels, folks. But there's also just considering... We're just considering, though. I'm already up a pawn here. There's no ruining of pawns, right? I already I ruined their middle pawns and what a pawn, but... They're gonna take... Take, and then take, right? Yeah, this like doesn't do anything. They just take back with the knight. And then...
I'm confused. Maybe it's like a trade. Maybe my rook can't get out. But now they can't in the castle. Like, what's going on? They resigned. Oh my gosh. Minus 1.5. If I play queen to b6. And that's not what I was doing. I was capturing here. But I was thinking about a queen move. What was I thinking about? Not queen to b6 maybe. Actually I was. I was trying to think like. He's almost checkmated. Wouldn't this be checkmate? No. Because they can do like this right? But then they're they are forced to give up. If I check him here he's forced to give up a free piece. Just to like make room for the king. And then it's probably checkmate next or something. I don't even know. Jeez. 10 moves guys. They resign in 10. Common Bobby Bojangles W. GG. Hit that like button if you guys want me to play one more. I got nine for that. I'm up 19 points today. Ten for the first one, nine for the second one, right? Did I lose it all yet? Another win! No, that one was just... Just aborted. They, they saw Bobby Bojangles and they got scared. Now they actually probably saw the D4 and they're like, I'm not playing against D4. I'm tired of these D4 players. Playing D4. What is this? Oh my gosh, we got one of these guys. One of these pawn players. One of these guys that just makes the, all the pawn moves, guys. Just a pawn mover. This is always trash tier. But, I don't know. Should I like do this? Should I take? Or should I push? Or should I do nothing? That's not an option. This is like garbage tier, but I gotta react properly. I honestly feel like this is good because we're locking down their like space. I don't know. Like where does this, where does his pieces go? They can probably break it open, but I could maybe keep it locked down here somehow like this next, right? Or just taking here and they're down a center pawn and their queen has to go here and then I'm f playing like This, I don't know kind of don't mind keeping it closed. This is kind of a weak pawn, but how do they attack it? You can't. Do -do -do. And I'll just like go here or get the bishop outside the pawn chain so that we're actually playing with it. I go here here I think we are just trying to put our pieces behind it and this will continue this defends the knight here and then I can blocks the uh, pin this is going up so we're good They're doing a whole lot of nothing.
I think I really just want to develop here. Alright, what are you even doing there? Okay. We're really just making moves over here as black, I guess. We're just making moves. This, uh, I wonder, I wonder, oh, why? They are making moves. What am I thinking? I didn't think that was going anywhere, but... Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, am I losing? This is so bizarre. Where's that? A castle now? I guess it's like a gambit type thing for me and for him it's just zero development and some sort of attack that is not sound but could beat me because I'm bad at chess. Um, that's what I'm assuming.
What if I do this? He just takes here. Oh, I might have something here. We're thinking about it. I think they had a better move there, didn't they? What is it? Material? Is it even now? They had like, they had this, this, um, and this is defended now. So, they had like a, it would have won a pawn, right? You could have won a pawn, I think. Golly. Let's put the rook on the open file. Maybe we bring it up at some point. this yeah if you want to take that I'm gonna open I'm gonna be opening up my file sir sadly nothing here right Let's develop. Oh, uh, what was I thinking? I was thinking about this, actually. That's what I should have been thinking about. That's what I was thinking about a second ago and I forgot about it. But maybe it's maybe it's better to keep this diagonal closed for now. But... It should make them more... 
keen to be taking there. problem if I do that. Okay, how about this and then here? Where they had to react. And that creates weaknesses on their king, right? Why not this, unless... I guess we're lifting the rook up finally. And now we're rooks defending here too, which is good. Where do we need to put my bishop? I have this? Oh my gosh, I might have. Bishop A6 could be a thing soon. I might have to take their bishop first, I don't know. Should I have to take this first? And then do it. I should go to the bathroom. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. And we have a critical move here, I think. If I take here, they have to take with the queen. That's like guaranteed. My bishop's blocking the back rank here. That's good. Their bishop's also kind of useless though. Like, am I really taking it? For what? When I could go here. But, I mean, I don't want this to happen. So I need a good reaction if I'm going to. Even this. This could be good. Because I could come up here sometime. That could be a better place for my knight if I need it. So let's think. And if I take, rook takes. And then I can take this pawn? No, I take here and then I... Oh, I can win a pawn here. Probably just do that. But knight c4. This almost looks solid. Oh, hold on, this actually wins a pawn because takes, 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 takes. And then, like, you can't back rank me. Maybe you're doubled up on here. So what's going to happen? There's going to be like a takes. I guess I'm not winning a pawn because they're going to take here next, right? Like with bishop. And my queen will be here. My bishop will be here. And then I can go... What about this? And then I feel like they have like a rook to defend it. I go here and then they have like this or something. Queen's gonna be here. Bishop will be, this bishop will be pinned. No, the rook can't go there. Because my queen is blocking that. My bishop is blocking me. I take here, then takes. And I thought I could just go back here, but my bishop is right here. But maybe I should still do that. Because then I have an open an outside passer.
I don't know what to do. Well, I can just take this. about that for a second. Oh my gosh, didn't they just have this? Wait, I'm winning now. Wait, they just, that was a huge- Whoa, what a blunder. Hold on. Alright, we'll, we'll win it now, I guess. I don't know, maybe like, maybe this is... It's not checkmate, but I'm like... Winning now? I have to stop them from checkmating me. This would be checkmate. No, it wouldn't. Hold on.
This is good. <clears throat> Rookie seven. Fancy. What is it? Rookie seven. Queen takes. I take what I take here and then get checkmated or something. Is that what you guys are thinking? Fancy. Or is there something else that's fancy about it? And then I go here because if I take that, it's checkmate. Actually, it's not. If I take that, he goes here and then I go here. Or just like here, right? Just take it. Simplify. Good game, sir. Or ma'am. Or them. What's the them, the them version of sirs and ladies? Gentle thems? Oh wait, they have like one move after this, don't they? I guess it's a ladder checkmate. No, what? Okay, get that queen out of there. We don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> that was kind of dicey, isn't it? Well, not a little dicey. There's like a mate in there, but I, w I was like not figuring that out real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I should have been able to figure that out, but I had a minute left and I was nervous, guys. Where was my checkmate? Where's my checkmate? Where's my checkmate? Mate in five? Oh, that is the right move, okay. And then that's the right move, and then that's the right move, and then what's mate in one? Oh my gosh! I can't believe I missed G4 checkmate, guys, for the for the incredible checkmate for the YouTube video. What a miss YouTube video. Is there any other mates? Mate in three.
Yeah, okay, this is what I was this is what I was trying to calculate, but I couldn't figure out how to get him there. Because I was like, okay, and then I go, I just wasn't considering the right square. Because I was like, okay, I go here, and then you go here, and then I go like here, and then you go here. So I'm, I'm, so I'm like, what do I go here, and then you go back here, and then what do I do? And then I'm just like, we're repeating stuff. So what do we do? But I, it was this to block him from going there. And then you go, so he has to go here, and then now you can't go there or there. Boom. Okay, so that's what I was trying to figure out, but I, you know, need to study checkmates more. Good game challenges i'll be accepting challenges from subscribers on twitch on sunday guys sub sunday first ever subscriber sunday for twitch subscribers on sunday be in the discord if you want to know all the information i'll uh, make an announcement the day before and then we'll do a little bit of selling out on sunday guys so be there for the stream on sunday i should go make some videos shouldn't i you guys want more youtube videos and i just got a couple youtube videos recorded right now so we can probably go make some This game was, this is a intense one though. So back and forth. I started out, look at their opening. Look how bad their opening is. And I just like failed. Big fail. I should have taken here. Look, and then we have two center pawns, guys. Look at look at my two center pawns. This was I think I'm up doing, but I was like, okay, what if we just keep it closed? But ew, it's like awkward. But plus three if I just take, right? And then I have two center pawns and then they've wasted all of their time with this and then what I just am supposed to be developing like normal I don't know like is this a mistake or is this just like a normal move okay sure um but what do we do yeah this is just not good for me guys bishop back here was good uh I wasn't thinking about the pawn pushing maneuver very much lost a pawn but actually look at this is their opening is so bad that even though i lost a pawn i'm still winning by the engine one plus 1 1.5 it's like i've won a pawn and more because their opening is just garbage i guess but i'm holding on i felt like I, I was uncomfortable but holding on here and i thought they had something here Is this not a thing? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, because of that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This first. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, so you just can't even do that. I get it. I was thinking like this is undefended now, but it's not. It's all good. They didn't have anything. And then here, I should just be going up for it already. But I thought that if they if I do this and then they take here. And then it's still saying it's still saying, hey, you're plus one point six, Bobby. Plus one point six. Why? Because like where's your bishop going, I guess? How are your rooks gonna get in together? I don't it just feels like I have so much more space, but I'm not really I'm also at the same time not sure like how I'm supposed to press this i guess just because i'm going to be getting if we just keep trading down and i keep moving my pawns up like i'm just about to get a queen here look i'm like one two three moves away if i ever you know and their bishop is stuck defending this with this oh yeah maybe what happens after this though yeah okay bishop yeah what am i supposed to like double up queen b2 we might maybe, maybe we're tripling up That doesn't look good. Oh my gosh. Nope, don't do that. But yeah, rook a7 it says. Or or go back. <laughs> kind of bad when your second best engine moves is just to repeat. Or just like third best move is queen to d7, huge mistake because... Um... Because I can just go back here or something. I don't know. So what a game. What a game. But we this is how we went. This is where it went down. Uh, oh yeah, this is what I thought about doing. And then I got just a little bit distracted. And when I decided to actually make the move, I considered the first move instead of the second. 
one that I like better. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Instead of what I did, which is completely crushing for them. Oh my gosh, it's just crushing for them because they needed to capture here. Oh my gosh, critical. This is the critical move I didn't consider that and they didn't find. Because now we're like this and it's just bad news for me. But here we are with the victory royale. Interesting game. Good game, though. Good game. Good game. Sorry to do that to you, Ukraine. I know you guys are going through a lot right now, but I uh, can't go easy on you on the board. It's all out. Chess is war. Good game. If someone, if you're white and someone plays the Karakhan against you, can you play F4? Isn't that called something though? The, you're thinking about the fantasy variation of the Karakhan? Maybe, maybe you're confused about the name because you're playing the wrong move order, but the fantasy variation of the Karakhan has F4. F3, that's F3. Uh, what do I know? If it doesn't have a name, though, it's probably bad. Because even the bad moves have names. What are you doing at that point? I'll be back on Sunday, guys, for Sub Sunday. You guys want to play me? Subscribe on Twitch. See you on Sunday. Be in the Discord. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time on Sunday. That's all the chess games I'm going to play today, though. That's a lot of chess. A lot of wins, too. I think I won them all. Should I check my profile? You love to see it. Three wins. Solid. Take good care, everybody. Yep, have an excellent rest of your day. Get some good wins on the chessboard. Go watch some of my YouTube videos. I'll I'll be making some videos after I get off here. So you guys have something to watch in the next few days. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Have a great day. Yep. Hope you all win all your games. Gain some rating. What am I now? 15.30. I asked at the beginning if people thought I was going to win or lose rating today. Everybody said I was going to win rating and everybody was right. 1530. Wow, you really lose faster than you gain ELO in this game. I dropped 100 points in one day, but I win all my games and I get like 30 points, right? That's how it goes. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go play some Tarkov.